It's really important to have hearing loss identified, but then also treated. And the reason it's really important to identify and treat hearing loss is that untreated hearing loss affects people day to day. It leads to social isolation, um, loneliness, and fatigue. It's really tiring to try so hard to listen throughout the day. So when Stephanie first came to us, she had a more mild hearing loss. Um, over time, her hearing loss progressed and hearing aids were no longer effective. So that's when she got a cochlear implant. Cochlear implants work in two parts. The first part is an internal device, we call it. It's surgically implanted and it sits underneath the skin. The second part is an external device. It has the microphone and the battery. It's what picks up the sound, delivers it to the internal device through the skin, and then that internal device is what stimulates the inner ear and the auditory nerve. A person is a candidate for a cochlear implant when their hearing loss progresses to the point that hearing aids are no longer helpful. So when people really struggle in everyday life with listening, even with hearing aids on, they should be considered for cochlear implants. Here at Ohio State Ear, Nose, and Throat, we have a team approach. We have audiologists, we have surgeons, we have researchers. We all have a common goal. Our goal is to help people to improve their communication.